Every Adopt Me toy and what it does. Did you know there's 503 toys in Adopt Me? And today I'm going to reveal all of the rarest ones and what they actually do. Starting off with the most boring ones and making our way to the most valuable and interesting toys. The toys right at the bottom are the ones that pretty much everyone has, such as throw toys. These are the worst possible toys that you could actually get. The only purpose to these toys are to make your pet go and chase it. There is some exception where some of these toys are slightly more valuable than the other ones based on the release date of the item. The next set of rarity items are balloons, and believe me, there is a ton of different balloons. Every single balloon, when equipped, allows you to go and jump a significant amount higher than you can traditionally go and jump without a balloon equipped, as you can see before and then with a balloon equipped, it is higher. Each balloon gives you the exact same amount of jump, so going and having a special balloon isn't gonna go and give you any added bonus. The only difference is how cool it looks while you have one equipped. So although there is a bunch of different types of balloons, some of them are a lot rarer than others. For example, this is the creepy balloon, which I think you can all agree is creepy, and this balloon is a lot more valuable than any other balloon. But the thing is, it does the exact same job as a traditional balloon, so up to you if you think it's worth it. Now we're moving on to toys that actually have a purpose, such as a bench. Two different types of benches that I own, and the concept behind a bench is that you can go and place this anywhere. Simply, apparently you can't place it anywhere. Alright, let's go and try and place it at the front of the map. I guess I should be able to go and place it here. And there we go. I now have a random bench and players can just sit on it outside of the nursery. Does this have a purpose? I mean, you can sit on a bench. That is um pretty much it. There is not much more to it. Which brings me on to a disco explosion. This is an old Robux item, which looks like a tiny little disco ball. And what you do is you actually throw it and this thing starts to go and grow in size and becomes a disco ball that just hangs from the middle of nowhere. And as you can see, it makes anyone that is near it start to dance. The second that you throw this, anyone that is within a specific radius while they are standing still will start to go and dance uncontrollably. There is no escaping the Disco Explosion's dance. This is a random item, you typically don't see it that often. There is actually a cooldown that you have to wait until you can go and use it again. And this did originally cost you Robux. Which brings me on to the next Robux item, the Magic Door. This right here is a door that simply takes you to your own home. In terms of value, this originally cost you 150 Robux. In terms of practicality, I deem this pretty much pointless. This item just teleports to your own house, which is pointless. I honestly don't know why you would want this. Why you would spend Robux on an item that teleports you to your own house. Obviously, it might be good if you want other people to go to your house, but instead of using this door, you could just press reset character by going and pressing this, it goes and brings you straight back to your house. So the magic door isn't really so magic when you can save yourself some Robux and just teleport to the house yourself. So personally, I will not be recommending the magic house door um, as it's basically a pointless gimmick. Which brings me into the firework launcher. This came out uh, pretty recently for firework day and as you can see, it loads up fireworks and then when you go and fire it, it explodes. That is pretty much all that the item does. And as you can see, while you go and do this, it goes and shoots miniature little fireworks. And again, this was a Robux item, but it doesn't really have any practicality. It just looks visually interesting. You can just run around and shoot little fireworks wherever you want. Um, pretty fun, I guess, if you like fireworks. But it's not the rarest of items, but considering it's Robux, um, I guess it might have quite a bit of value. 
In a similar theme, we have a very similar item called the Snowball Launcher. This right here is actually pretty valuable as it actually goes and releases snowballs. Let's actually go and head to gifts and see if we can start a snowball fight with someone. I'm not actually sure where everyone is, probably inside of the fire dimension. But the idea behind this is you can just throw snowballs at other players. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose. It's more of just a fun little item that you can go and use to go and launch snowballs at whoever you want. So you can just launch snowballs at other players and it's kind of pretty fun. I believe this came out at a Christmas update, potentially via an advent calendar. This item isn't as handy as the next toy that I'm about to reveal to you. And you won't believe what toy number one does. The next item is stands. Now there's multiple different stands that players can go and get, such as a marshmallow stand, a lemonade stand, a hot cocoa stand, or a cotton candy stand. Let's start off with the marshmallow stand. The marshmallow stand will go and cost you Robux. Going and uh, getting this doesn't actually give you any bucks, making this one of the most pointless stands possible. Also, players can simply go and get a marshmallow on a stick anyway for free in the campsite if they wanted to, kind of making this stand very pointless. Which brings us on to the next stand though, which is a lemonade stand. The lemonade stand is pretty good. You can set a maximum price of 20 bucks on a lemonade stand, which is the same as some of these other ones. Let's check out the hot cocoa stand. This one goes and gives you a hot cocoa. Max price, 20 bucks. The next item is a cotton candy stand, okay? And again, max price, 20 bucks. Now the rarest one that you can go and get is the hot dog stand, which will allow you to set the price to 50 bucks, which is pretty fun. Now, the reason why it's 20 bucks is probably to stop people from like selling their pets, but considering we now have silk bags inside of Adopt Me, I think they should definitely increase the cap of 20. In terms of value, the cotton candy stand is worth more, and so is the hot cocoa stand in comparison to the lemonade stand, as this one is always available all year, and the hot cocoa was only available during a Christmas update. The next thing is called ornaments. Now, I don't actually have any of these ornaments left over, as I actually use them all up myself. In case you're wondering what in the world does an ornament do, it goes and works on a Christmas tree. This right here is a vintage Adopt Me Christmas tree, only available via an old Christmas update. Every single day you can go and collect ornaments and place them on the tree. For example, this was an ornament that you'd put on the tree, and the more ornaments you put on, the more it would decorate your Christmas tree which was actually such a fun event, and uh, not that Adopt Me has ever done this since. Like, they've never done a Christmas tree like it, and uh, the only way to get it was from the old event. There's no way you can purchase this. This was a free tree. I have tried so many techniques of like trying to go and duplicate this, because there's like cloning tools. If you press clone it, do I want to buy the 2019 Christmas tree for zero? It simply doesn't work. Unfortunately, as much as I would love this to work, it just simply doesn't. But the toys on this ornament are pretty rare since people typically went and put them on their Christmas tree like I did. The next item is slightly controversial. That's right, Adopt Me has a realistic axe, which I'm pretty sure most players have absolutely zero idea about. This right here is an item that makes it look like you're gonna use an axe on someone. This is a very strange item for Adopt Me since Adopt Me typically has absolutely zero violence and this axe actually looks pretty scary looking. So this is a pretty valuable item. The next item is a glider. This right here is an old Robux vehicle that would allow you to go and fly around the map. This is basically the old version of Fly Pets. It's a pretty cool vehicle actually. And if we have a look at it, this is what it looks like. It's a very interesting vehicle. It just literally allows you to fly around the map 
with a glider. Honestly, this was a very strange item. I believe it cost 80 Robux when this thing released. It's pretty cool though. You can just soar the skies and fly around with this pretty cool looking vehicle. In terms of how fast it gets you somewhere, it's pretty speedy and uh, slightly easier than equipping a pet and pressing fly on it as it's um, just kind of pretty much the same thing. The next item is a wand and uh, this is definitely an interesting one. So there's a bunch of wands and this is a rainbow wand. Now the value of this item is very confusing. This right here is only a common item, but in terms of value, people kind of go crazy over it. It's really difficult to find out what the value of this actually is. But fun fact, I did actually once get scammed for going and having this item. It's uh, It was a bad scam back in the day when I was a good old noob. I, I got scammed for my lovely rainbow wand and uh, I managed to get one back, but I would have had two, I guess. The next item is actually one of my favorites. This is a pumpkin. Now, there's many different types of pumpkins in Adopt Me, and uh, if you go and use them, they all do different things, such as uh, a throwing pumpkin, which, as you could probably guess, allows you to go and throw it. But that is not the rare one. The rare one is this. It is a pumpkin with eyes and a scary jack-o'-lantern face. Now, what this item does when you go and use it, let me go and demonstrate. This is me before, and when you consume it, it starts to rattle, and as you can see now, my head is completely invisible. So whenever a player goes and uses this item, what it actually does is makes your head go from invisible back to normal. It's a very strange item and pretty fun to go and use, but considering I have like a little mask, um, that's what stays, so any face accessories or hair or anything stays. The only thing that disappears is, uh, like, your face, if that makes sense. You see the bit that's going invisible. Now, this item, you can use it an infinite amount of times, um, as it's not consumable. It's just a toy, and you can use it forever. Now, you can actually do one step bigger and get something called a tombstone. This is one of the most rarest toys inside of Adopt Me. I think you all know what this does, but when you go and use the tombstone in a similar way as how the pumpkin works, it makes your whole character invisible. As you can see, this is the before, and this is the after. This is a very rare toy to get your hands on in Adopt Me. It doesn't make you completely invisible. You can still see kind of like the silhouette of your body as if you're a ghost. It's a bit creepy and allows you to just kind of spy on people. Not as effective as other techniques, but it is very weird looking in case you ever wanted to do it. It's a very difficult item to go and get your hands on. So I do wish you the best of luck. Now the next item is uh, a very rare one that unfortunately it's so rare that I don't have. And this right here is called the Flying Broomstick. This is a legendary item that is actually a toy. And it allows you to fly around in a very similar way that how the glider works, but instead of being on a glider, it's a broomstick. Now there is a scam where people go and confuse this for like the petware, wherever the world that is, which one's petware, um, people confuse the two um, with the witch's broom and the classic broomstick, they think that it's the same thing. It's not, one's legendary, one's common, one's a petware, and one is a toy. Now we're going into the final rarest items, starting off with a bees blaster. Obviously this is a adopt me toy code item. You get this, as a toy code. Now what this item does is throw consumables of honey and if you walk up to it you can go and eat it yourself I'm pretty sure it's just called honey. Um, I mean you can eat it or your pet can eat it. So say for example I have my pet equipped let's go and do that um, and go and start spraying out some honey candies if it wants to work. Did my did my bees blaster break? Um, maybe it's it's not 
is not letting me launch it. Maybe it's broken. Now you might notice something about this item which is odd. It actually says untradeable, which is um, slightly sad. Yeah, you can't go and trade this item, which is um, slightly disappointing um, as it's a code, but that, that's the reason why. So it's basically the same as the next item that I'm about to show you, which I think you also all know what this is. This is a candy cannon, the rarest toy inside of Adopt Me. This thing does exactly the same as the Bees Blaster, but shoots candy which when you consume it goes and makes you run faster. This is a really difficult item to get your hands on as not many of them actually exist, making it really difficult to trade. And when this originally came out, I think it was like 2000 Robux or something crazy. So not many people spent their money going and buying this as it was a lot of money at the original release in like 2018 or 2019. Oh, and I forgot to mention the paint sealer. This just allows you to go and seal in whatever color you want on your pet. For example, I wanted my neon bat dragon to be red. So I went and did that, changed it red and used the paint sealer. That means it will never go and change back color. Obviously, there is a bunch of toys that I did miss in this video. The goal was just to go and show you the main important ones, as if I showed you all 500, I think you guys would be extremely bored, as most of them are just generic toys, but these are all of the fun ones that actually have a purpose, or do something practical. Of course, there is also propellers and different types of rarities of plushes and things that are also valuable, such as a Santa throne. But these are kind of just random things uh, where you don't really serve too much of a purpose. To see me trade from a dog to a mysterious pet inside of Adopt Me, you should go and click here right now to go and watch it. This video took me so many hours to go and film. Click here right now to go and watch.